What's up guys? In this video, I am going to tell you the best website builder in 2024. But how I am going to do that is by listing three among the most reputable platforms in the industry, starting from the least in my rating to the best. According to my research and analysis, the best website builder in 2024 is Wix, then it is closely followed by Squarespace and Jimdo. So let's review each of them. Jimdo is the third on my list. The platform is not extraordinary, but it is good enough for primary needs such as blogs, e-commerce stores and portfolios. The platform has an easy user interface that is well optimized for mobile devices. And if you are a beginner, there is an AI function known as Jimdo Dolphin that can make building a website very easy for you. The second on my list is Squarespace. The platform doesn't have a free plan, but its paid plans are worth it because the platform is easy to use and compatible on every device. It also includes web analytics, blogging tools, and amazing customer support. The platform isn't limited to one thing because you can create any types of website such e-commerce, blogs, portfolios, and many more. Aside the fact that it doesn't have a free plan, its pricing is slightly more expensive than its competitors because it starts from $1.16. The best website builder of 2024 is Wix. The platform also has an easy UI. And if you are a beginner, I recommend Wix because it has different editors like Wix ADI for beginners, Wix Standard Editor, and Editor X. The platform has one of the biggest template libraries and is rated 4.0 out of 5 by Forbes Advisors. They also have a free membership plan for those who are not financially buoyant and a 24 hours customer support that will help you if you encounter any issues. It's a good thing you now know the best website builder of 2024 and a few other options worth trying. The difference between Wix and the other two platforms I mentioned isn't much, and to an extent, Squarespace and Jimdo can even be better than Wix in some aspects, so it's now up to you to compare and see which one suits your needs more. There are also other options like Webflow which I personally prefer, but I didn't include it in this list because it can be a bit complex for beginners and you might have to watch a few tutorials to understand how to use it properly. Leave a like if this video was helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.